What's up guys, it's Alina and today I'm back. I am so excited to be back filming. I have been going through it these last few months since April that I've been gone. But I'm going to explain to you guys a little bit of what was going on and give you guys some updates. I have not done my makeup in four months. The last video that I filmed which was on my birthday, was the last day that I did my makeup. So today I'm going out, we're going to Maryland, and so I'm going to do a little bit of makeup, something basic. So I didn't want this to be a super long video, so I already did my eyebrows, my mascara, and my edges. So this is the L'Oreal Paris. I actually bought this just recently. So this is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte uh, Demi Matte Finish Foundation, and it is in the shade 106. I don't know if this is my color so basically basically the last time let me do this first I just washed my makeup brushes yesterday because I haven't done them in a long time and some of them are not dry yet so if this is too light I'm probably oh my god and hopefully my old foundation combination matches because now I don't have um, makeup that goes with whatever the tan that I've gotten. So the last video that I filmed was on my birthday. And after that, um, I've been consistently wearing a mask because I work at a, at a grocery store. And so... I got a skin infection on my face. I will insert pictures if you guys can tolerate it. But I had an infection on my face and I developed like very severe forms of dermatitis all over my cheeks and my chin and my forehead. Like it was literally the most awful thing that I have ever experienced in my life. And so I had to take a break from everything like all these days. All that I've been doing is putting on like sunscreen my eyebrows and mascara that's pretty much it it's taken this long from april until now for my skin to look like kind of kind of normal and so i intended to come back earlier in the year i mean at the beginning of summer i thought that my skin was going to be all right but i asked my dermatologist if i could if i could do makeup and she said she told me no she told me that i had to wait another month so she told me basically that I had to wait until the end of summer, which was not the best case scenario for me, but like I had to take the time to heal my skin. So, um, let me think what else. I start school on the 25th, but once they came out with um, the format for the fall semester that they showed if all the classes were going to be online or not, it turned out that for... Is this empty? Please don't tell me this is empty because I do not have any more foundation. This is literally it. All right, there we go. So once the online formats came out, I saw basically that all of my classes were going to be fully online except for one. And so I wasn't having it. I'm like, you're gonna make me pay housing, full price housing for me to only have one class on campus and that's not a fun time for me so I canceled my housing and I'm gonna be staying home I spoke to my one professor that it was supposed to be a mixed class I spoke to him I told him I, li I live too far this literally doesn't make any sense but I have to take this class this semester in order for me to be able to move on and you know be all right next semester and so um he basically told me that it was fine and that there's a few students that are going to be doing the same thing they're going to be taking the class fully online obviously not everyone's going to be able to make it to campus like the situation is pretty awful so i will be staying home um i'm not sad about it like there's a lot of people that they were like in a rush to go back to campus this and that not me i like my house i like my food i like my family i like my environment my room my neighborhood the, i love everything about like where i live and so you don't appreciate those things until you leave and you get to see other areas what other areas are like and 
really do not like New Jersey. Like, I'm there because of what I'm studying, but it's not really a place that I want to stay. So, um, this semester, I'm taking... Let me see. This looks a lot better. But, um, this semester, I'm taking mostly gen ed. So, I'm taking Italian psychology, um a religion class called death dying and afterlife and then i have anatomy and perspectives on latin america so all of those classes to me i really don't think it's going to be that big of a deal like i think i'm going to be fine doing it online and then in the spring i'll go back and you know take the rest of my labs among other things and everything will be all right I'm really shocked that this foundation still matches my skin because my face was literally so tan because at the beginning of summer I was not wearing sunscreen to my job and I was going outside standing in the sun <laughs> and just getting tan so I'm surprised that this still matches my face other than that I'm gonna try to pump out as many videos as I can in the next few days. Hopefully that works out and I don't like fail myself or like lie, but I'm gonna try to pump out as much content as I can before I start school. I don't know how hectic it's gonna be once I start online schooling, so I wouldn't be able to tell you guys if I'm still gonna upload when I start school, but there's a lot of um, videos that I have planned that I wanted to film at the beginning of the summer and I'm still gonna film them now so just be patient with me I'm literally just having you know a rough time transitioning back to online school and then back to YouTube I'm really doing my best I think I'm gonna have to start getting more hydrating products because my face just looks it looks dry like I'm used to it looking really nice and glowy and it looks dry and I don't like that but recently i've been um buying lots of things online as has everybody else and so i that's actually i got this necklace from shein i did a huge order a few days ago that it had like 15 items and i got all of the stuff for like i think it was only like 50 dollars for all 15 items so i ordered a bunch of jewelry some basic pieces that are for summertime even though summer is almost over and i was extremely shocked that everything fit like you know that when you shop at shein everything is kind of like a hit or a miss like it either fits or it doesn't fit and like if it doesn't fit then you're not returning it because who wants to send packages back to china i'm going to be doing a haul probably sometime this week of all the things that i've bought while we were in quarantine and yeah my edges are lifting and I knew that this was gonna happen, but it's making me very upset. I ran out of the edge control that I usually use and I haven't had time to go to the store to buy another one. So I've been using all of the ones that suck that I have around my house and I've been mixing three and four different ones at the same time and it literally still looks exactly the same. I stopped doing my edges for a few days because my dermatologist said that I have um, comedonal acne and so my figuring was like, well, maybe if I stop doing my edges, it'll go away and it most definitely didn't go away. <laughs> to be quite honest, I'm extremely underwhelmed by my makeup. I don't like, <laughs> I don't like how it looks at all, but I'm not going to take it off because I already did it, but I thought that this was going to be a lot better. My skin type has changed a lot over the last few um over the last few months like once you go through an infection i literally get for some reason i get skin infections on my face every single summer so once it happens like my skin type changes for some reason so it doesn't it's still sensitive overall but like the texture is different and the way that like my products react on my face is also different which is very frustrating because then I have to switch my routine almost every single time that this happens and it's very annoying. I don't intend on wearing makeup yet because I'm still having to wear this, I mean I'm still having to wear a mask every single day 
and so wearing makeup under your mask if you don't know it clogs your pores and it actually makes it a lot worse so if you're working and you're wearing makeup under your mask you should stop immediately and while i was like switching and trying to find products and stuff i started incorporating ahas and bhas which is like salicylic acid benzoyl peroxide and i think that it's been helping not as much as i would like it to but you know it's all right and then the other reason why i wanted to do my makeup today is because i'm starting a retinoid probably tonight and retinoids they typically cause your face to it was also recommended by my dermatologist but they also cause your face to purge in the first few days for some people and i expect that to happen to me so i wanted to do this before my face gets disgusting <laughs> so dumb it looks like i've never done my makeup ever before but it's just that my brain is like having a seizure trying to remember how it is that i do my makeup so this is a, this is a little bit stressful for me <laughs> Let's see if this fixes anything On camera, it looks a lot better than it does in person. My camera is making it look like really, really nice, but I actually don't like it, but it's fine. It's gonna have to be fine because now we're leaving in 20 minutes and I don't have time to redo it. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below what's next, and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe my down below along with all of my social media links, my Instagram, my Twitter, my VSCO, and my Spotify playlist, and I will see you guys next week.